As we all know that when computer does its work, it stores all its data inside main memory. During its execution period, it transfers the value from the main memory into cache, and from cache it is supplied to the register that is present inside the CPU. But what I am very much interested is how the value from the main memory is fetched and brought into cache, or how cache uh, addressing is maintained so that the CPU can extract those values. In this presentation, that is what I am going to highlight. Hello friend, this is Swaroop and in today's presentation, I would like to talk the storage mechanism of primary memory and that of cache. So for that, what I would like to put forward is a tabular structure. So just imagine this is our main memory and we know that main memory divided into rows and columns and where each row is considered to be as block. So let's consider this to be a block zero and then it follows one after the other. Now, uh, for our understanding, I have considered that the block 15 to be the maximum block that is there inside the RAM. So from block 0 to block 15, that means total number of block is 16. Okay. Now each of this block is again going to split into respective column because that is where the value is going to be stored or byte is going to be stored. So a single block is going to have four column as you can see over here. This is first, second, third and fourth column and inside those column respective values are stored. So 16 into 4 will provide me 64. So this is the total number of uh, number of bytes that can be there inside the main memory. Now in this context or in context of computer organization, one more term that has been used is called word. For our simplicity, let us consider the word to be bytes. But in reality, there is a slight difference between these two. Okay. So we understood that the total number of bytes that will be stored into the RAM is 64. But how do we hunt down this address of where these bytes are located? And for that, we have to convert the 64 into binary format. So for that, we will say 2 to the power 6 gives us 64. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, let's take one of the bytes from this RAM. So let's consider the byte 5. Now, if we convert it to binary, we would get it as 000101, right? Now, this particular binary value will be used for address representation. Now, in context of computer, uh, it does a very nice way of representing and that's what I will talk about now. This particular 6 bits will be split into two half. The first two bit from the LSB, which is considered as block offset and last two bit from MSB, is considered as block number. Now why it is going to do so? Reason is as I already stated that a RAM is going to have a matrix which has got row and column. So you need to discriminate which row it represents and which column it represents. So when you have a, a binary value of uh, 1111 as a block number, so very naturally you can have a decimal value of 15 and that is the block number as well. So you can easily find out which particular row it is. In the same way, when you have a block offset of 2 bits, that means it can have 4 combinations, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So that would give us uh, 4 different combinations. And from there, we can easily plot the 0th column, 1st column, 2nd column, and 3rd column. So this particular structure will tell us which particular row and which particular column the value exists. So for example, uh, considering the sample uh, 5, uh, if we consider 2 to 0, this is the uh, block number so it gives us a row number so block number one is consisting of five and if we take the block offset to the power zero is anything about zero is one so we can easily go to the column number one and we can track the value five the same thing for example let's consider a uh, six it has a binary value of zero 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 one zero zero so we can easily consider the block number one as a row number one and one zero to be column that is the third column so zero one two that's the third column so from this tabular format and this map, uh, physical addressing representation, we could understand that how this particular uh, uh, way of tracking of the individual byte is taking place. But what about the cache? And that is what our main concern right now, because the cache cost is pretty high and it will not have uh, such a huge amount of space like what is there in RAM. Because of that, cache is basically split into, into another matrix and where the rows are now considered to be line number. So uh, the block number which was there initially, it's been replaced to line number for cache. And uh, the concept of row and column still persists. But 
there is a slight modification what is that modification over here there are four lines and there are four uh, column as well so four into four that is a 16 so the word size uh, the entire word size is going to be 16 bytes right but if you see the addressing format they are slightly in a different way uh, the initial RAM which was having the row value 0, 1, 2, 3 has turned out to be a column value over here. So you can say the RAM follows a row major while, while uh, cache follows a column major. And why it is done so definitely there is a reason behind that and that what I will talk now. So all the 15 blocks let me write it down and here are the respective binary values. Now if you see this particular position so line number 0 means what it is 0, 0. Line number 1 can be represented as 0, 1. Line number one uh, uh, 2 can be represented as 1, 0. And line number 3 can also be represented as 1, 1. Right? So if you see very specifically, these particular values, they have a, have a matching in context to these numbers. Whereas 0, 4, 8, 12, all the last two uh, bits is going to have 0, 0. See? 0, 0 for uh, 0, 4 has got 0, 0, 8 has got 0, 0 and 12 has got 0, 0 as the last two digit. The same thing for line number 1, it has got 0, 1. So 1, 5, 9, 13 is going to have last two bit as 0, 1. Similarly for 2, it has got 1, 0, see, it's, uh, it has got 1, 0. So respective matching of this particular binary value accordingly this particular block number has been written, okay. So it's a nice way of representation where line number, see line number 3 has got 7 which has got uh, last two digit as 1, 1. So 7 has got last two digit 1, 1, 15 has also got last two digit as 1, 1. So in this way, individual row gets mapped with the respective binary value. So uh, the, uh, so it, it would resolve one, one nice problem. Uh, what, what, is, what is that and that what we are going to find out and why it is been done so. You can say these are the block numbers, but what about the column number? These are the block number, but what about the column number? These, these values has to be plotted as well, and it is done in a very specific way. Again, the physical address system of main memory, that, that is what I represented previously, is I plotted it over here again. And the same thing I am plotting it in context to cache as well, okay? But in when it comes to cache, there is a slight modification. The block number is split into two half, one is called tag number and line number. And this is where very interesting thing is going to happen, okay? Uh, how, how to consider that? Let's see. Uh, suppose if I take the value 4, what this particular 4 represents? The 4 represents, it is talking about the block number 4. So the block number 4 has got the respective value of 16, 17, 18 and 19. So how do we get the 16, 17, 18, 19? For that what we can do is, if I split the binary value of 4, that can be done in this context, that is, this is 1, 2, 4, 8. 8 so i can say that this is 0 this is 1 this is again 0 this is 0 fine so this is what uh, it will provide me for now coming about the block offset we have to multiply it with 4 and then we have to keep on incrementing thrice how do we do that the first thing is 0 0 this is the combination that can be there another combination can be 0 1 the next combination can be 1, 0 and the other one will be 1, 1. So since there are 2 bits, so there can be 4 possible combinations. So what I will do is, I will multiply this 4 into 4 and that will take me to 16 and that is what the value is. Now if I want to get 17, so 16 plus 1, 17. So what will be the combination right now? Then it will be 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. If I want to get 18, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. See, in case of uh, 18, in case of 19, it will be 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So in this way, we can proceed. Now, le let's take out the value of 6. So what will be the combination of 6? So 6 will give me 1 over here. So it will have 0, 1, 1, 0. And again, those four combinations of block offset remain same as it is. And now I will multiply 6 into 4, that is 24. So it will take me to see the value 24 we got and now if we go for plus 1 25 plus 1 26 plus 127 so in this way it will keep on let's take one more example suppose we go for uh, block 11 so block 11 means 8 so over here 8 will be there this is 1 then 0 then 1 then 1 so we got the binary value and now again the combination of 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 remains so this 11 will be multiplied by 4 that is 44 so let's go to the line number. So line number 11, 
line number 11 has 44 44 plus 1 45 46 47 so we can easily extract you can easily extract from the respective block number so this particular block number is the reason why we have written it in this format so tag number plus line number will tell me uh, the identifier of where the value exists inside the ram and block offset will tell me which particular column it is fine so this is the way it can be able to track out so that's the reason even in this such a small amount of memory space we can represent the entire all the value 64 values of the uh, that is there inside the ram and for that the mapping has to be done in this way okay so initially again for a repetition i'm saying initially these two combination will be used for restoring these respective values and then the individual binary value will be multiplied by 4 and to reach to the res to the next preceding character of that particular block we will be added with 1 because the combination is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so there will be a combination of 1 and uh, 0 1 2 and 3 that's the reason the incrementation is taking place from that context okay so that is how the value from the ram goes to the cache i hope this particular presentation helped you in understanding how data are stored inside main memory and then how data are being brought from the main memory to cache uh, in my next video i'll be talking much more about it in fact i have decided to bring uh, a new series on computer organization and this is the first among that and until my next video have a nice time